Hey guys, you can see I got the paint on there, even though the plywood still looks like garbage everywhere. Oh well, that's what you get for buying cheap. Got the taillights still sitting in there. They're not wired in or anything. I'm still working on that. The bubble windows are in there. And if I wander on this way, you can see the bubble window on the other side. That's how far they stick out. And hey, look at that. <laughs> what these are, these are actually uh, called pet peak. They're actually bubble windows you stick to your fence so your dogs can uh, look around outside. Work pretty good for campers. And if I go over here, I can't see my screen very well, so I have no idea exactly what you're pointing at. There is the uh, plan B for the door. You just rotate the steering wheel, this rod pushes down, and then these three short ones here will pop up and out of this socket right here. Pretty simple. Still don't like those hinges, but it is what it is. Small hasp at the bottom, just in case. And a uh, small handle. Now on the front here, Kind of hard to see, but I am starting to come up with something here. We decided not to put plexiglass windows in this. So what we're gonna do is in these holes, we're gonna we're gonna screen these in. This inside piece of wood, there's a two by two out here, one by two out here. It's really kind of hard to tell, but when I finish this inside frame, this is gonna be able to pull out. We're gonna put screen in these. And on the outside of this, we're gonna put canvas with a bunch of snaps on it. So when you're someplace that's hot, you know, like, whoop, tripping over everything here. Anyway, when you're someplace that's hot, like on the desert or something, what we'll do is we'll just open this up like an awning. Just be big open screened windows here. I hope that works out. So anyway, frame, as you can probably see, I'm a very sloppy painter. So I'm gonna have to uh, touch up the frame. I don't think you can see in here, but there's a box in the back that has the fenders in it. But I have to make brackets and stuff to... Yeah, so it's almost time to put fenders on this thing. Anyway. There's really no place for me to stand to get a better look at this thing, is there? Not really. Anyway. Probably making you dizzy wander around out here. <laughs> I can just barely make out what you're seeing on my screen here. That's what it looks like so far. I don't think it's really too bad. Oh, as you might notice, there's uh, D-rings in a few spots at the top. Yeah, when you camp enough, you know the value of places to tie ropes to. Especially for like laundry, if you do camp laundry and that kind of thing. Or to hang a tarp or something as a makeshift awning. Anyway, that's what it looks like right now. I just started on the inside, getting the electrical ran. And uh, I don't think I can see in there, but uh, I'll turn this off and come back in a second and see if I can actually get this to focus in there. Back in a second. Well, I guess it kind of focuses in here. This tablet that I'm using for a camera, it zooms in so far that in a small space like this, you're almost right on top of everything. This here is a three foot sound bar. This runs on 16 volts, so I'm using a uh, DC to DC step-up converter that'll run that. Anyway, all these wires here, which are pretty thick, I've got split wire loom. It's ordered, but it's not here yet. It's gonna cover that. I could've used a lot less wire by just running the positive lines to everything, and then a common ground, and just tapped into the ground at different points, but I decided just to run individual Wires do everything. Charge controller got covered because well, it was cutting and sanding out here and I didn't want crap to get in there. And my uh, Ryobi drill died. So this is a replacement and the other one's in for warranty service. So eventually I'm going to end up with two of those. <clears throat> Don't need two of them, but I'll have two of them. But really nothing in here has changed. I was going to put some air vents in here, but this is the way they showed up from shipping. You can't see how bad the second one is, but yeah, <laughs> they showed up pretty smashed, so I'm not going to use those. They said the fenders are in the box here. Nothing's trimmed out on the inside, as you can tell. The wife is going to attempt to make homemade windows for these, so I'm not sure how it's going to work. I guess she's melting beads or something. I'm not sure exactly how that's going, but uh, she does. So really... Nothing different happening in here. 
don't know if I can see this way or not. Yeah, it's just a huge mess in here, really. All this junk. Yeah, but uh, nothing too great. I still have to make a uh, handle. This here is just a temporary here. And this little spring thing to keep the door from coming too far open too fast. But yeah. I guess this way you can kind of see how that door latch works. Yeah, it just uh, flips up. Right now I've got everything kind of tight. So it uh, the spring here doesn't uh, pull it back yet. But that'll wear itself in or I'll loosen it up slightly. But yeah, this is it so far, guys. And uh, we'll do another video when I get some of this electrical done. And so that's what I'm going to be doing next. Oh, or... Or when I get further on this front piece here, but we haven't ordered the canvas or the snaps or she hasn't found her snap tool or still quite a bit of stuff left to go there. But anyway, that's how it's going so far. So uh, later on, guys.